Hello everybody, this is apparently filler week on my channel, so uh, let's get into some Geometry Wars Galaxies for the Wii. I'm going to be playing with the Classic Controller because it's it's just easier that way, and I happen to have one from like two years ago. I never really used it, except for maybe for some virtual console games, which I haven't played in forever, but I have it, so I'm going to use it, because there is no better way to play this game than with the, the two joysticks. Like, the, the Wii Remote, I mean, I guess it works, but this is just the best way to play this game. Now, uh, I haven't played this game a whole lot. I remember I used to play it a lot when I had access to a 360. I don't anymore, but uh, I always really enjoyed Retro Evolved, you know, Ge Geometry Wars. This is basically the original version. Uh, just very stylish game, very fun. It's it's a shoot 'em up and, you know, it's an arena kind of a shoot 'em up where you just... You're stuck inside this area, and uh, you just try and outlast the enemy, you know, the wave as long as you can. And it's just really good. It's a lot of fun. Uh, so I figured I would record a video here, because I got this game for maybe $10, I think, a week or two ago. Probably just a week ago. I didn't get it too long ago. I wanted to record this earlier, but um, I didn't actually get the chance until now, because... Uh, I've been busy with some other stuff, and I was trying to figure out, you know, getting my uh, programs working again. This was actually the game I was trying to record when my uh, my recording program crapped out, and I couldn't uh, couldn't record stuff for a day or two while I was finding a new program and trying to mix up settings and such. But yeah, this is this is good stuff. It's it's kind of not really nostalgic. I don't know if that's the right word. It probably isn't, but like. It's very fun, you know, it's very memorable, and I have I have some good memories playing this game from, from a few years back. So yeah. <clears throat> good stuff. So yeah, it, it's really very simple, you know, you control your little guy here. Um, you have your lives, you have your bombs, you have a variety of different enemies, you kind of have to learn what they do. And also, as you go through the game, you get slight upgrades. I think these are actually temporary, they don't last forever, but you get upgrades to your shots, um, and that just lets you do even more devastation to your enemies, which is never a bad thing, you know. You, you gotta, you gotta be able to overpower them, especially with, uh, big crowds like this. You gotta be able to control them. But yeah, in addition to that, um... Uh, the snakes. The snakes, I thought, were really cool enemy designs. I think they're probably some of my favorites. But, um, anyways, we also have bombs, actually. I haven't shown that off yet, but when things get especially, uh, especially risky, what you can do is you can actually shoot bombs, and that just wipes the whole screen. You know, it's a smart bomb. There it is right there. It did not work as well as I'd hoped it would have, but, uh, that's the basic idea. I didn't see that guy to the side. See, there's a lot of stuff to pay attention to. It's really easy to, uh, get overwhelmed. And then you lose your multiplier and you can't, uh, can't get a whole lot of points for a good while. Good long while. Oh god. Oh god. There. That's, that's maybe a better place to use it. These are some of the guys I really don't like. These magnet guys, they run straight for you. Uh, they're... They're not kind to you. Needless to say. Oh my god. I don't know how long I'm going to last, I'm just going to last as long as I can, considering I haven't played this game in a long time, and uh, we'll see how I do. Yeah, I haven't really played an ultra-serious game of Geometry Wars in a long while. Oh my god, see these magnet guys, they are just jerks. Yeah, I could never I could never survive too far fast. We're past this point. Oh my god, Whew, got an extra bomb and used it immediately because I'm getting overwhelmed here. There are probably people who play this game so much better than me. I, I'm not I'm not the best at these arena type shooters. I'm not even the best at traditional type shooters, but um I don't know, I appreciate them for what they are. So there's my first game. Not my first game, but um it's a it's a pretty good game, pretty good serious game of Geometry Wars. Let's actually try out Galaxies. I haven't tried out multiplayer. I want to try that out with somebody sometime in the future. But, um, then there's this. Um, they actually have sort of like a campaign mode where you get to, uh, 
you get to go into these little arenas, and I guess you have this little guy that helps you out. And I, I don't really know how this works. I think you upgrade your attacks and all kinds of crazy stuff. You know, they have new music, they have some new enemies. It's pretty cool. I, I like the idea. And then they also have these little pickups. You can get those little dots that I'm grabbing. And those are what uh, give you your multipliers. I have to say I'm a little bit annoyed with these enemies because they run away from you and they can run outside the box. And then you have to wait for them to kind of uh, come back in. And that, that just... It's a little bit irritating sometimes when you're trying to hit them and they go outside the box and you can't shoot at them. Like, I, I don't know if I like that very much, but, um, even still, it's, it's not bad, you know. It is good fun, and, uh, I hope sometime in the future I'll, I'll sit down with this game, play it a little bit. I mean, it's just such an easy game to pick up and play and just enjoy. So, uh, yeah. What else is there to be said for Geometry Wars? It's a very simple game. That was so stupid of me. I apologize for that. That was just very bad. Couldn't have gone worse. It's like, where are they coming from? The corners of the screen. So where do I go? The corner of the screen. Made sense at the time. No, it didn't. <laughs> didn't even make sense at the time. It just happened. And I did it again. Look at me. I am a genius. There. Take care of them. Do I get points for that? Or... I, I don't know. No, no, let's at least get gold before I get embarrassingly murdered. I mean, come on now. Right, this isn't too bad. Oh my god. There's a lot of those. Oh my god. This room's just getting filled to the brim with, uh, with enemies. There we go. I want to make sure that I pick those up, but I don't overwhelm myself trying to pick them up. You know, these, uh, these multipliers, because if I go, if I get into the wrong place, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get spawned on top of, and then I'm gonna get murdered. And that's how things go. Sorry if the volume's kind of low. Um, yeah, I don't know, I've been trying to balance out my settings. I probably should have, uh, increased the volume. It's, it's weird, the volume in this game, because, um, like, the intro, like, compared to everything else, like, the Wii startup sounds, and, uh, just all of that stuff. I feel like um, the game music itself is kind of quiet, and maybe I can maybe I can change that in the options audio. That's better. I think that's considerably better. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry about that. I, I should have uh, I should have thought of that earlier. But yeah, this game has some really good music, so uh, highly recommended you listen to it nice and loud and. Nice and loud and clear, you know? It's, it's worth it's worth listening to. It's very catchy. But yeah, we're just going at it here. I think we're way past the point we need to be at, but uh whatever. Is there even a level complete point or do they just overwhelm me at some point or what's going on here? I don't know if I understand. And I always really liked how the the plot in the background, like the lines they kind of get dragged along by your bullets and also by these uh, these black holes. I, I thought that was just such a cool effect. You know, the geometric grid lines in the background. But yeah, I mean, like, it all starts getting sucked in the black hole and then you're just... I don't even know. I don't know how best to describe it, but... It's a fancy effect. I enjoy it very much. But yeah, uh, I, th I, th I don't know if I ever explained that little guy in the corner. I think I did briefly near the beginning, but I never actually said what he does. He just He's just there to shoot for you, you know? He, he doesn't kill a lot of things, but from time to time he'll just... He'll take a shot or two at the enemy, and he'll, uh, he'll do alright, you know? He does alright for himself. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I think we should stop this level soon, maybe. Move on to somewhere else. Getting a little bit tired, maybe. <laughs> Gotta have some variety. Oh god, that's what happens if, uh, if you let a black hole explode, I think, is that they, uh... What, what is it? They just explode into a bunch of little tiny circles, and those are 
pretty tough to avoid. They, I think they actually uh, chase after you a little bit there, so definitely not a good idea to uh, stick around when they're out. Trainer Ice, Trainer Duo, Drone Select. Ooh, Ooh dig the funky music. Yeah, I, I said before in the Prox number 3 LP in one of the early episodes, this game has really good music. I don't comment a lot on uh, video games music, but uh, this game has really good music. And that was a, an outright lie, because I always comment on the music in games I play, I guess. I guess I'm very particular about music in video games, you know? I feel like it's a very important part of games that the music and just the setting in general fits with everything else. You know, everything should come together and just... It should sound good, you know? So... I, I always like to comment, at least briefly, on music if I enjoy a game's music. And, you know, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I do. I don't know if I always mention it. I don't always mention it, but, um... I will oftentimes try and at least you know, graze over the music and just say, I enjoy this soundtrack. This soundtrack is pretty awesome. And that kind of thing. <clears throat> but yeah, with Geometry Wars, it's just, it's very catchy, and that's very fitting for a game like this. It's just, you know, exciting arcade action, that kind of thing. And so for that, I mean, just the sort of electronic techno beat, it just fits in very well. Everything comes together nicely. But yeah, I, I like I like this kind of uh, electronic music. It's just it's almost smooth. It's just very it's almost calm, but it's also very catchy. So it kind of gets you in like this this not really secure mood, but just a very sort of do 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 do. You kind of going with the beat, and now I'm failing because I'm <laughs> being silly. But, uh, yeah, you get the idea. I hope. I hope you get the idea. I don't know how this is gonna go for me. I'm probably gonna make a silly mistake and die immediately. Oh god. Yeah, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, I survived. It's alright, it's alright. We got it. We got this. I play shooters. I play shooters sometimes. I fail at all of them. But, I mean, that's, that's what you do with shooters, right? fail a lot, and, uh, that's it. <laughs> oh, God. There's a lot of them. Oh, wow, we have to get two million to get silver, and we're not even very close to that goal yet. I think we gotta get a lot of these multipliers if we want to get anywhere near that point. Yeah, I think the big thing about this mode is that you have to rely on multipliers, because they just give you so many points for uh, for getting up there. I only I only managed to get a uh, bronze, but we're not playing this overly seriously. We're just having a good time. All right. Yeah, we can't do multiplayer, unfortunately. Connectivity. I think you connect to the DS, and then uh, you can. Uh, I think you can unlock like the last. Yeah, you have to. You have to connect to the DS to unlock the last. Uh, zone, and you also have to have the DS version of this game, so I, I feel like that's kind of a stupid feature, it's like, you know, how many people are going to go to that length, I mean, I'm sure a lot of people do, but myself personally, I don't see myself getting the DS version, I don't even have a DS, I gave my DS to my girlfriend, um, she, she's been enjoying it, I think. She got Bowser's Inside Story, and she's actually really been enjoying that, which is cool. Cause I always liked, I always liked the Mario RPGs. They just, they felt fresh, you know. I mean, like they had their own style and their gameplay. It kept you engaged, you know. Even though it's just some, such a simple thing to press a button and then you'll reduce damage, or you'll, you'll do a special attack, or you will do a little bit extra damage for every attack you do. I just. That's such a cool concept, like, so many RPGs are just, you know, menu screen hand or managing, just, you know, boosting your characters with buffs and then using your most fancy attack and magic and re restoration 
items and such. It's just like, the, the Mario RPGs just kind of came around, they were like, you know what, I can make this cooler, and then they did, and there was much rejoicing. At least from me, you know, I mean, I'm sure not everybody loves that stuff, I'm sure there are plenty of purists who will just shake their booty right away from that, unless it's Final Fantasy or something traditional like Dragon Quest, or Dragon Warrior, I don't know. I never liked those games, the Dragon Warrior, Dragon... I think it's Dragon Warrior. I don't know. But yeah, needless to say, I was... I wasn't the biggest fan of... I've never been the biggest fan of RPGs. I, I do have a few that I've really enjoyed. You know, with my limited experience of RPGs, but, um... You know. And here I am playing a shoot 'em up game while I'm talking talking about RPGs. It's pretty... Pretty good, um, pretty good switch, you know. Good contrast there. It's very stylish. My, my, uh, my, my gameplay videos are very stylistic. I'm, I'm the Salvador Dali, the, the David Lynch of Let's Plays. God, I, I just finished watching Mulholland Drive, and I don't know if any of you guys watch, uh, David Lynch's stuff. That was dumb. That was very dumb. I could've used a bomb. But, uh, I don't know how many of you watch David Lynch's stuff, but it is weird. And Mulholland Drive is like, pfft, that is definitely just no, there's no, uh, no exception to the rule, it's just very weird. I don't, I don't feel like it made a whole lot of sense near the end. I mean, it's a surrealist film, so it's not necessarily supposed to make a whole lot of sense, but just near the end, it completely lost all coherency, it was just kind of like, what's going on here? And I mean... Everything was still connected, but it was just, like, strange, you know? I mean, I did enjoy it for what it was. I thought I thought there were some pretty cool moments in that movie. Oh, my God. Whew, this game. It's very intense. It's hard, to, it's hard to keep up with it, you know? It's hard to keep everything away from you, especially these green guys. They home in on you, and they avoid your attacks. You're trying to fend them all off, especially when they surround you like this. It's just like, back off, man, back off. Oh, I didn't see him coming. Yeah, and then, like, right at the last second, you see a guy coming, you're like, no! And he hits you anyways, and you die. But that's Geometry Wars Galaxies. Um, very cool game. I suggest you guys get it, either on the 360, if it's still available on there. I hope, I think it would be. I would hope, anyways. And uh, you can also get it on the Wii and the DS, so check it out. Good stuff.